Now your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, supported by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Well, the storm system that brought us all the heavy rain, severe weather on Saturday has moved eastward. We had a pretty nice Saturday afternoon and Sunday with uh, plenty of sunshine taking over. This is what high pressure looks like. Hard to find any clouds anywhere near Texas, and that storm system has now moved out towards the southeast, bringing some heavy rain to uh, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, and then further to the uh, northeast there is Tropical Storm Arthur. This afternoon for us, looking at those very warm temperatures in the low to mid 90s for the lower valley, temperatures in the 80s right along the coast, and then look at the numbers really sore as you head out. Highway 83 into the Upper Valley, 100 for a forecast high in Roma today, 99 Rio Grande City, and looking at southeast winds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. If you got some sniffles out there, it could be coming from grass pollen. Ragweed uh, pollen is also up there as well, putting the allergy alert today in the high category. Our next weather maker is really not going to be doing all that much to help us as far as any precipitation is concerned, but this area of high pressure is going to be shifting off towards the east and bringing back uh, some good southeast winds. That's going to bring a lot of humidity over time back into the valley. And high means dry. That sinking air. Humidity is going to return, of course, and that means warmer overnights as well. Combine the high pressure with a developing area of low pressure over the Rockies. This would be on Wednesday. That's going to kick up the valley wind machine, and we're going to see wind gusts well above 30 miles per hour. It looks like Wednesday going all the way in to the upcoming weekend. High also means the lack of clouds. Those temperatures are going to be way up there as well, running anywhere from 5 degrees plus above normal all the way through the end of the week. 91 is our valley average high. Tropical Storm Arthur is still causing some problems over the Carolinas. Winds are not all that impressive, 50 miles per hour, but it's pushing a lot of rain up towards the Carolinas. There's a beach erosion going on as well, and the system, though, is now starting to pull away from the Carolinas and will continue to do so, and the track actually is going to be taking it back out over the Atlantic. There are your top winds right now, 50 miles per hour, moving north-northeast at 16 miles per hour, and that places it right now 20 miles east southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, and really not going to be strengthening all that much as it moves northeastward. Eventually, it will kind of meander out over the open waters of the Atlantic. Just a reminder, hurricane season begins officially on June 1st. This is a big thing, the fifth or sixth year that we've seen a system develop before hurricane season actually began. So there's your seven day forecast, the weekend always in view. And yeah, it's going to be hot and plenty of sunshine going all the way into the upcoming weekend with temperatures well up into the 90s. Then the breezy conditions take over for Thursday and Friday. And then, yeah, it's a small, but there are rain chances coming in for Saturday and Sunday. It was nice to see the rain this past weekend, but we could still use more. And that's the two chances over the next seven days.